Well, this is going really well. Really well. <laughs> yeah, great. So, go. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Well, do you know what? I feel like hopefully that'll take the pressure off because I feel like I've failed already. So, do you know what? Hi, guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Simon, and today I'm doing a mock test with Charlotte. Now, this is the first time we're driving together, and your test is coming up. It is coming up. Now, you have done a mock test before. Uh, yes. Okay, and that went pretty well. Well, two weeks ago, yeah, and then since I've been making some silly mistakes. But okay. We'll see how it goes. That's all right. No, it's quite difficult to actually pass in a mock test with your own instructor. Yeah. I feel like they're going to be strict, He's quite which is good. Strict on it, yeah. Which is good, actually. Um, okay, so do you know how today's going to go? Do you want me to tell you a little bit about it? Yeah, you can do. So, this drive's going to last about 38 to 40 minutes. We're going to go up a mixture of roads, okay? Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you. If I'm not saying anything, just keep going straight. Okay. If you're not sure where you're going, you can ask. I'm going to get you to follow some signs for a little while. All right. We're going to carry out one manoeuvre and we may also carry out the emergency stop. All right. Okay. Now, before we get started, I am going to ask you a question about your vehicle at the beginning and okay. then one as you're driving as well. All right. So for the tummy question, could you tell me how would you check, sorry, when would you use your fog lights and how would you know they're on? So I would turn my fog lights on and the ignition's on and if the weather was bad, bad visibility, I would use the fog lights and just turn them on. Off. Okay. Do you know where they would generally be located? So my lights are down here. Okay. So these oh. ones come on automatically, but they're just the regular headlights. Okay, perfect. So whenever you're ready, we're going to start the engine and you may move on. Okay. Um, it's on, on the right. Wonderful. On the other side. <laughs> Behind the steering wheel on the right. Oh, there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. the end of this road, turn right please. Okay. I'm just going to move in here. Okay, so great. Thank you. to the car. Sorry. And turn left, please. I think I need to lift the clutch up a bit higher. Yeah, the biting point's higher in this car. Yes, I'm finding that out as I go. Charlotte's used to driving a car where the biting point is a little bit lower, so when she's releasing the clutch, she's releasing it slow at the first part and faster on the second part. And turn uh, left, please. So the reason we stalled here is because Charlotte brought the clutch up too fast where the biting point actually is, and of course being in second gear didn't help. I'm clearly very nervous. <laughs> it's okay, just take a few deep breaths. Everybody else seems to use this car quite easily when they get into it, I don't know how many issues. 
see that they're coming towards me, but there's nowhere for me to kind of go. I mean, I could have gone in there, but I'm kind of committed now. Maybe I should stop it. Oh no, he's reversing. But I I'll just keep going. And we're turning left at the end. Thank you. With painted mini roundabouts like this, if there's not enough space, be sure to go over the roundabout with the tyres on the right hand side. Also, as this is a mini roundabout, you do not need to switch your signal to a left signal to come off. That wasn't very good, I rolled all the way back. At the traffic light junction, we're going to be going straight ahead. Continuing through the crossroads ahead, Charlotte was slightly cautious as the road ahead is staggered and she thought she'd gone through a red light but we were already in the middle of the junction by that point so that traffic light does not apply to us at that point. Straight ahead? Mm -hmm. We're straight ahead, this way. There's a red light. I've just gone through a red light. Side level. And when we get to the roundabout, turn mm -hmm. left, please. Well, do you know what? I feel like hopefully that'll take the pressure off because I feel like I failed already. So do you know what? Like, let's just move on. Turn right, please. Thank you. I'm so sorry. What a nightmare. to drive some car that I haven't driven before in an area that I don't know at all. Are you okay? I'm alright. Yeah? Okay. Should we start again? <laughs>
thinking about the traffic lights we're going to turn right. Now with these traffic lights, it was too late to stop as we we're already too close, but as we're turning into this new road, Charlotte should have made a really wide turn and turned into the far left lane. Instead, she's in the overtaking lane and she is trying to move over, but she's not speeding up before trying to move over, which ultimately makes it much harder for her to move back to the left. Charlotte, if you just speed up a little bit yeah, and then move over. towards Ealing and Wembley. Okay. to the bridge. Pardon? Third exit, it's just after the bridge. Oh yeah. So I just need to cross over into that. Is this the third exit? Yes. Good. That's good.
if you got locked on to the island. Chilling out after this. <laughs> Goodness. Um, yeah. Have you got a lot planned after today? No, I'm gonna. Are they gonna a need a glass of wine? <laughs> <laughs> got some work to do. Yeah. Like I've been in this spot for like ten minutes, but in reality. It's As there's an island in the middle of this crossing that actually makes it two separate crossings, so we could have continued before the first pedestrian. Is she going to try? Pedestrians, isn't it? In the distance ahead, Charlotte gets a dangerous fault with clearance with the first parked car on the left-hand side. Her attention was on the pedestrian just before the parked cars and she was considering whether she needed to stop for them. and then park up on the left just before the red car Great, yeah. don't worry about the um drive just kind of in that space Great. but leave enough space to move away okay all right so what we're going to do now using this vehicle in front yeah i'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise okay. finish within two car lengths of that car but don't go up onto the driveway Treat that like I've raised. 
club. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm just gonna invest it. Okay, so shortly I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. Okay. So as you're driving down this road, I'm going to make sure it's nice and safe. You'll see me looking around and then mm -hmm. I'm going to give you this signal. Stop. Okay. I want you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible. Imagine a child's come running out in front of you at that point. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Drive off when you're ready. Thank you. That little guy down there. <laughs> Why is the handbrake so complicated? Or am I just an idiot? No, it's not you. Christ. It's in an awkward spot. Yeah. So it's the car's fault, not me. Yeah. It's okay, awesome. so remember we're doing the emergency stop. Sure. So drive normally and sure. wait for my signal. Okay, okay. A bit faster than this, please. Drive how you normally would. So second gear. Oh, okay. Sorry. Stop! Alright, thank you. Drive off when you're ready. Okay, I'm going to get you to do that one more time, okay? Okay. So remember, we're still doing the emergency stop. Just wait for my signal, okay? Stop! Stop! Thank you, I'm not going to get you to do that again. Drive nice. normally from... Okay. One might be better. You can just make a left turn in here, please. Okay, so how was your drive? <laughs> That was my drive. Um, quite poor, to be honest. I think I was very nervous. You were. I was, I was literally so nervous. Even from pulling away from this road, like, um, I did not expect to be so nervous. So I don't want to just put it down to the car in the area. Um, I think that on test day, I really need to think about my nerves. Yeah, nerves definitely play a very big part when it comes to your driving For test. Sure. Honestly, it's not as bad as you're thinking it is. Okay. The bits that you probably feel like you failed at, it's not that. Okay. Well, so for that sure red when I light. Hit the car, you when you had to Oh, okay. That, well. that, yes. Yeah. That was a serious that fault. That was for serious fault. Because yeah. what happened there is you're driving up and you thought it was a pedestrian crossing. So your attention was on the pedestrian. Yeah. But then ahead of us, we've got a parked car and we needed to go round it. Yeah. Now, obviously, you had to position early. You can actually fit two cars in that space. Okay. But it's the fact that we were kind of going up to the car. To then go round that we wouldn't 
because your attention's on the oncoming traffic. Yeah. So you're trying to give them space and now you're too close. Sure. If we'd moved out earlier, you could have fit through that. Yes. Yeah. It's because your attention was on the pedestrian, that's why you kind of misjudged it a little bit. Okay. Um, so that was one of your faults. Great. The other one was control gears. Yeah, no wonder. About five times I thought I was in two and I was not. Yeah, you, you kind of, you were in third a few times, so when you were trying to gear down, you kept going straight down rather than going across. I know there's a bit of a difference between your own, your instructor's car and this car. Sometimes I have done that though, and sometimes he has to have, like, I mean, not so much recently, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It has been like, oh, check your gear, Charlotte. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in four. Oops. That red light. It wasn't for me, was it? it we were already in the junction. <laughs> So oh, when you moved I, up I at the traffic so... light, we had a green light, but as soon as we went through, it, was, it started changing, but we were already in the junction and you were a bit unsure of where to enter because that particular junction, it's slightly staggered. Mm. So we had to enter on this side. Oh, yes, the side I was from. going up, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah. So because of that confusion going, where, where is straight? Then you suddenly caught the traffic light thinking, oh, I'm going through a red, <laughs> but we're already in the junction. So that didn't apply to us. Okay. Okay. So, oh, we had that cyclist come in front of us on that carriageway. Oh my God, I was thinking, what is he doing? And you dealt with that well. Well, also there was a cyclist in the middle of that big road and I was like, judging in my head, I was like, I don't know how much space to leave him. Can I get round him? Yeah, no, you, I like, you dealt I, with it well. Can I, not? I was like, I'm just gonna hang back. It's because of the bend. We yeah. couldn't really get round him anyway, so I'm glad you didn't try and overtake him there. The parallel park, really nicely done. Okay. Yeah, you had to go forward at the end to readjust, yeah. but that's fine. I would have got would I have got a minor for that? You were already in the space, possibly get a minor for um the fact that you have to readjust, yeah. But that's you were good. already in the space. Emergency I, stop? First time wasn't very good. Okay, I gave you another chance on that one. I'm really not happy with the first attempt. No. In in my defence. I've never done one before. You haven't? Mm -mm. <laughs> No. Okay, well, the first However, was too thank slow. you for thank you for um putting it in this test because now I feel like the second time I was like I need to actually stop. Yeah. Not gradually stop. If it was a child, I'd have hit them. That's it. Like not good. But the second time was that okay? Was was much better. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um make sure before the emergency stop that you're actually driving normally because you were driving at nine and I had to say, Come on, speed up and you would sped up a little bit and I was like, Come on, second gear, just just drive how you have... normally would yeah, on that road right. and then they're gonna give you it's that. It's definitely signal. because I was anticipating it. I was like, right, I need to do everything right, I need to remember to put the handbrake on after I stop. So the main thing with the emergency stop is just stop the car, then secure it. You put the handbrake on, I would also just take the gear out as well. Sure. So that when you try and move off later you remember to be in first. Because mm. you tried to move off in second. Mm -hmm. But you did well with the observation, you looked around and then you moved off. Okay. So well done for that. Thank you. Um was it as bad as you thought it would be? I think I feel like you oh my definitely God, it was worse. Thought it, was like, a lot. it was worse. It's worse than I thought it would be. Oh my God. I feel like you I didn't never make as many Halfway mistakes. through, I was like, maybe I'll just pay her for it so she doesn't put it out on mine. Honestly, honestly, I was like, I was like, how can I get out of this? Like, oh, my dog died. Like, I don't even have a dog. <laughs> I was like, this car not see the light of day. But you know what? It's not my real test, guys. It's not my real test. <laughs> Plus, remember, this is it's all about how you kind of learn from this going forward. Like, well, wow, there's a lot of experiences that watch, I can learn. You can watch over this and go, actually, I can see what I'm doing I now. don't want to watch any testing. <laughs> it's going to knock my confidence for six, honestly. No. Goodness me. <laughs> you were so nervous. I re honestly really was. Yeah. Honestly. Um, yeah. But thank you so much for dealing with That's me. That's okay. Um, okay. what else? Oh, okay, a few things for you. This is just, this isn't something that's going to get marked down as a fault, but I just feel like you would be a little bit extra in places. So when you're turning right on roundabouts, or even traffic light junctions, mm -hmm. you tend to indicate right and then switch to a left signal, like on the roundabouts, like the mini roundabouts. You don't need to do that. On a mini roundabout. Mini roundabout. Yeah, don't, don't switch your signal. I realised when we were on that mini roundabout, and then I thought, oh, well, that's done now. Yeah, it's just because it was distracting you from the steering wheel. Um, and then also you're, you're kind of turning and as you're turning you're trying to switch the indicator off just yes. before it would turn off by he itself. He does tell me this, he's like focus on your steering yeah. first then and your gear and then worry about the indicator. I'm like, yeah, so whenever oh. you're driving if there's two or three things for you to do go with the most important yes. then go with the next one and yeah. so on. Don't Thank try you. and do too much at once, yeah, it just sure. gets overwhelming. Well, it's good experience if I ever decide to drive in London again, which I definitely won't be doing anytime <laughs> soon. But yeah. 
Would you say you've learned from today's mock test? Oh yes, 100%, so thank you very much for having me. That's all right, thank you for taking part. And good luck with your test, hope <laughs> it goes you. well, drive safely, and don't dwell on mistakes, even if you feel like you failed, even in your actual test, don't okay. dwell on it. I'll keep going. Because a lot of people make that mistake. All right, thank okay. you. That's all right, um, that's it from us today, guys. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe, let us know, let us know if you've learned anything new in today's video, and um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.